I'd like to welcome you. Uh, we are, uh, this is an impromptu live, uh, actually, because we were uh, expecting something else, but it seems like we're, we're on the air, and yes, we are. So we'd like to welcome you. This is uh, the I Am channel in partnership with Aldea Global and our uh, president, Gaia Stepanian's uh, profile as well, the magnet lady. So we want to welcome Gaia. We have uh, an important guest this morning, and you want to tell us, because uh, we it's one of our uh, English uh, speakers for the next upcoming Congress, uh, Healing Depression. So you want to tell us a little bit about Stephanie Hutchins-White. Welcome, Stephanie. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. I'm Gaia. And um, one of the wonderful things that came about in 2021 was, you know, I am members going on to Clubhouse. And that was in great part, thanks to you, Kike, um, you know, encouraging us to go onto that platform. And through that, Stephanie and I met. And Stephanie's in Canada. I'm in North Carolina. And so what a wonderful world it is that, you know, we can make a connection like that. She's an amazing holistic nutrition coach. I have learned so much from Stephanie. And every time she shares stuff, it's just the way she delivers it, it's just, you just take it in. You just, you just do, you just take it in. She has a wonderful way of delivering wisdom uh, that you just, you just know makes sense. And, and so uh, just this morning, you know, she encouraged flax and I, I put some flax in my fruit. <laughs> And, um, and like that, she's, you know, she's just a, has so much knowledge and she focuses on women 40 year, 40 plus years, right? Um, when it gets a little bit more challenging. Um, and so I definitely want to welcome. Excuse me, are we men over 40 also allowed? <laughs> yes, you have more loads too. So you're allowed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that I know. And I've, we learned so much about that balance between, um, testosterone and estrogens and all these hormones so i guess you you can talk a lot about that and well we like to know about we know you you were just now uh, on clubhouse uh doing a presentation uh so we are now on the video uh platforms we want to share about your presentation and you want to tell us about your your operation and all those beautiful things uh for the upcoming congress stephanie Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me here. And thank you, Gaia, for uh, inviting me to be part of the conference. And I'm excited for what I'm going to be sharing. And I'm, I'm really happy to be here um, today as well. So thank you for inviting me. And as Gaia said, we met on Clubhouse. Um, we were in a room talking about collaboration. And I heard her voice. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I need to get to know this person because I could just tell from her wisdom that she was sharing that she had a wealth of knowledge that I wanted to tap into as well. So we've been a really um, great team together since then um, and developing our, our room over in Clubhouse and developing quite a following and having fun doing it at the same time. And I think that's part of um, the magic of eight of Clubhouse, but also of my of coaching women, um, because I believe in the same kind of energy with women that that we need to and and with men <laughs> when it comes to health that we need to enjoy what we're doing because if we don't enjoy what we're doing we're it's never going to be sustainable i'm always saying to my clients you know um yes sugar is isn't great for your body it's not great for our gut um and our gut connects to our brain and we all hear about the gut brain connection um and and that plays into our moods it plays into how happy we feel it, it plays into um, our anger it plays into um uh, uh how well we digest our food um and when we are able to but then i always also tell people you know if you're at standing at an ice cream shop and you want to have an ice cream don't don't stop yourself and have be joyful and enjoy the, the things that bring you joy um you know if you're with kids it all, it's all situational and so i love to to share the fact that Yes, we can be good, good, I always use my air quotes, good, 90% um, of the time, but we also have to have joy in our, in our life at the same time. And I think that's really, really important that when we can build that up, um, that really makes a really big difference in our nutrition because then it's not drudgery, it's not something that we don't enjoy. We, we know, most of us know that uh, your mood has a lot to do with, with your nutrition, but to what extent, maybe you wanna, expand a little bit on that uh, mm -hmm. is is that so important 
What do that, you- that's, that's very important. And it's actually where my story began. My story began back in the year 2000 um, when I actually went to a doctor's appointment and I had my little um, six week old son sitting in my lap. Um, he was just sitting in his little diaper and next to his little, his, reaching, look, look, looking down over him because the doctor had just asked me a question. And she asked me a question that if you're a sleep deprived mom with a toddler at home and you used to wear corporate and you're now on mat leave and you're absolutely exhausted, you're going to cry when the doctor asks you this question. And she said, how are you feeling? And so of course, constantly I started to cry. And I remember leaning over my son and my tears were falling and they're landing on his little belly. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, I can't, I can't believe I'm saying I'm, I am here. I'm sitting in this doctor's office and now I'm crying in front of the doctor. And I really don't know why I'm crying. All I know is that I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, and kind of sad at the same time. I, I, I acknowledge that now that I was probably pretty sad because I was, you know, a young mom and I was exhausted. Um, and then she started asking me questions. She asked me questions that she wanted the answer yes to. And um, she asked me things like, um, so the kind of open-ended questions and the only thing you could say was yes or no. There was no room for discussion about it. And she said, um, is your libido lower than it used to be? And I thought, well, yeah, I mean, I just had a six, I have a six week old here. Of course, my libido is lower, lower than it used to be. So I said, yes. And then she proceeded to ask me more questions. You know, is your motivation lower than it used to be? Well, again, yes, of course. Um, and then she reached into a drawer and she pulled out a package of antidepressants and she put them on the counter. And she said, I want you to take these. Hmm. Um, I want you to take these for 10 days, come back and have another appointment with me. And this is going to be a lifetime of monitoring. And I was like, what? A life? time of monitoring and was when she said those words uh, something something clicked something switched in my head and I was like no 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 <laughs> this can't this can't be happening this can't be the, the path I'm going down um, and I realized at that moment that I couldn't allow somebody who was holding a thermometer to take a temperature up to how I should be feeling and it was in that moment that I started to to really dig down into what was going on in my body I discovered I was anemic I discovered that um, I was exhausted from the anemia um, I was, um, I, my, I had adrenal fatigue. And so I started to build my body up with nutrition from the inside out. I started eating a, a holistic, you know, more uh, whole foods. Um, and I rebuilt my body. And that's when I started turning to more nutrition and realizing that I wasn't alone, that I wasn't the only woman who was allowing somebody to hold that thermometer and take my temperature. And that I could stand up for other women and give them a voice and help them um, get clear on what their body was saying and why they were feeling sad, why they were feeling tired and turn that around, um, and help rebuild their body so that they could gain confidence so that they didn't have to stay in that spot. They didn't have to feel guilty. They didn't have to feel shameful. Like I was you know, with my tears falling on my son. They didn't need to feel that shame and that guilt any longer. So yes, I truly believe that there's a gut brain connection and that nutrition can play a massive role. And of course you got rid of those, uh, medications. Oh, yes. I never took it. I didn't take it. I went back, actually tried to cancel that appointment um, and they wouldn't let me. And I actually had to go face the doctor. And the crazy part of that, the end of that story is I went back with the, with the antidepressants 10 days later and I put them on the counter and I said, I don't want to take these. And she said, oh, okay, good. I'm glad you, you decide you're not, you're, you don't need the antidepressants. And I was like, that, it was that easy. Like that little, that decision could have changed, that did change the trajectory of my life. Like I could have gone on antidepressants and been on it and ruined my gut microbiome and, and, you know, gone down a whole, that whole path when really what I needed was someone to, to run some blood work, some blood work and just say, you're burnt out. You are worn out. You've done what so many professional women do, which is push the gas pedal and the brake at the same time and fuel with sugar and caffeine. <laughs> and that's what I've been doing. So we understand you have a well, your, your whole operation, um, I'm looking here at your, at your website, which is um, uh, Stephanie E-H-W, right? Uh, yes. Stephanie E-H-W.com. So you teach uh, women to uh, also uh, how to cook better meals and, you know, all these parts, but I, I guess you're heading the, uh, that way, in that direction, in your presentation as well uh, for this Congress. Yes. You're going to give us some hints on how to get better nutrition with some maybe some recipes as well uh there won't be any recipes in my <laughs> conference but uh <laughs> the, those you can find in your website that's right and uh, uh -huh. I, used, I used to share on the i can cook page tons and tons of live cooking uh demonstrations in there 
Um, and I am going to be going back to do that as well um, and, and sharing that with for more women, 40 plus, um, but also for, for young moms because they are starving for the nutrition that I was starving for you know, 21 years ago <laughs> as well. I'm so, um, excited. I'm so excited that you're joining the conference. I know that many people, not just women, yeah, yeah, yeah. are going to benefit from, can you hear me? Sure. Yeah. Yes. That are going to benefit from, you know, all of this knowledge that you have. That story, I never heard that story before. I didn't really know what had triggered your sort of shift into this field, but what a mm -hmm. phenomenal experience that I'm sure so many women share. I remember myself you know, when I had my first, I mean, boy, that kid could eat. I felt my teeth hurt. My teeth would hurt. I remember one time feeling so exhausted, having my teeth hurt, my body ache and thinking, oh my God, I need to go to the ER. Like I felt like I was breaking down physically. And it was just that I wasn't eating correctly. I wasn't obviously sleeping who sleeps when you're at breastfeeding. Right. But this kid was eating so much that I, I, he was literally decalcifying me. And I wasn't, I didn't know, you know, how to eat correctly. I was eating whatever I could at that point, whatever I could like stick in my mouth. And so yeah, that's a, that's an amazing story. Thank you. Yes. Um, I like to, yes. So I was Go just going to say, and, and it's not, it is, and it isn't just nutrition, right? We can't just look at one, one compartment being, being nutrition. It has to be, there's a, there's a mind component and there's a spirit component that has to come into play as well. And I will be talking about those, um, in my, in, in my talk as well. So, um, it, there are, there are all, th all three buckets have to be level. I always talk about it as being an unlevel stool. And if one of them's off kilter, then the stool is off kilter. And that's when we start to feel not our best. Like we know the days that we stand up and we stand up tall and our shoulders are back and we're feeling amazing. And the days when we're feeling a little bit hunched over and you're like, okay, what's going on? And that, that's, that's it. And that's what I love teaching women is for them to go, okay, hang on a second. I can tell I'm not quite right. What's going on. And then they have the answers that they can stand up again and go, okay, I, now I know what I need to do for today. I know you, um, in your in your business i mean you cater to the 40 plus but i'm thinking of age groups as you speak and i am thinking on the on the teenage uh group which is also uh they're very affected by by depression and we know we know that we we tend to think that it's because because they're growing up and they're, they're trying to find a way in the world and everything but uh, their nutrition has a lot to do and we don't pay that much attention because we think oh, they're kids they can handle no they can eat just about anything and nothing will harm them, but uh, you start seeing in, in their, their bodies, their transformation, you start seeing the acne and, and all this, and, and those mood swings, you know, all these uh, states of, of, of being, you know, that you can tell that there's something wrong, uh, and that it's not natural, you no? Know? So I guess I just wanted to add that because um, it's one of the groups where you can feel and you can see, sense of, like the, the, the influence, the impact of nutrition. Oh, and I totally agree. I think I think you hit it the nail on the head when you said the acne. I mean, the minute we can see it coming out in their skin, right? That's that's the the processed foods and the and the oils that are coming out that their body isn't able to um, process the food properly. So the only place it can do is throw it around the body, and then one of the places it comes is the skin, and the skin shows up because it's like I don't know what else to do with this, and it's a warning. It's a warning light. My my son when he was um, my oldest when he was. Uh, Gosh, he was on solid foods. So I think he was like probably eight, nine months old. And he had red, 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 red cheeks, like bright red cheeks. And a, and a really smart friend of mine, who's also a naturopath, took one look at him and she said, oh, those are the warning lights. And I was like, warning lights? And she said, yeah, those are warning lights. He's gluten sensitive. Like she just knew immediately. She could see his swollen little eyes and she could see these cheeks. And, and so that's how we discovered that he was gluten sensitive. And that was, again, the whole, <laughs> the start of, you know, of the whole gluten-free world 24 years ago when you couldn't buy a gluten-free loaf of bread um we had we had to figure out how to how to navigate that but it show it does it shows up in your skin i find the first place it shows up is is in our skin and we need to acknowledge the fact that um young people are having highest levels of anxiety than we've ever seen i don't know how many moms i have talked to who talk about their teenage daughters having anxiety and I'm, immediately i'm like oh it's the gut tits we need to get rid of the pizza and we need to get rid of the sugar and, and the, and the, you know, poor fats. And we need to just flip that around and just small little changes can have a profound difference. I mean, just changing my son's um, diet from 
to be gluten-free made a difference in his personality. And, and he went from a, a kid who, um, he was, he was colicky as a baby and now I know why. Um, but he went from having a n- n- uh, nervous system that was completely off the rails to what, to this calm dose. If you meet him today, he's like the most chill, calm kid you'd ever meet. Um, but if we hadn't figured that out, you know, he, again, he probably would have been hyperactive in, in a classroom. So we definitely need to look to our children for, for some answers. You know, and then some, some adults have like adult acne, right? And, and, and so here, that, that can be a real big source of frustration. And I, and I know that in, in, uh, in sessions with folks who've had a lot of like skin issues, that depression is one of those emotions that are sort of carrying it. You know, it's like, you know, what comes first, the chicken or the egg, right? Are you depressed and therefore your body's reacting this way? Um, is it defending itself against something? Or, you know, is now this condition also manifesting or magnifying, you know, feelings of sadness, depression, and frustration, right? That's right. Just as a reminder, we are uh, coming to you live from uh, different platforms, and we are inviting uh, all our audience to register for the up-and-coming Healing Depression Congress uh, taking place on September 22nd to September 26th. Uh, All the information at iam.net on events, you can check uh, we have prestigious speakers such as Stephanie uh, Sutchins White, who, by grace of of technology, we <laughs> we found and maybe that has that leads me to the question: How is uh, your business has has how has it changed with uh, these uh, you know major transformation in in the way we communicate? Uh, you in Canada, for instance, uh, do you have people around the world? How is this? Uh, how has this affected you and? Do you handle things different in a different way now? Um, it, it did change things. Um, I can remember meeting people and they would say, oh, you're a holistic nutrition coach and you do it online. How does that work? <laughs> and they didn't understand it because people didn't understand Zoom. They didn't, they didn't know what, what that even meant. Um, so that, that completely changed. I mean, now people have absolutely no fear of the technology. I think they were fearful of technology. Um, and yes, I have, I do coach women around the world. I have somebody in Southwest of France. I had a client in Arizona, one in in uh, Western Canada. So, you know, that's like being in California to if you're on the East coast of the U S. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, and I love being with women on the zoom call because, um, like you said, you, then you can see their skin and you can see what's going on 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 their face and you're able to realize quite quickly, okay, I I have some ideas of, of what's happening already. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's beautiful because you can actually see people um, live in person um, and, and then technology has allowed me also, I, I love the app Voxer, which is a walkie talkie app and my clients will send pictures. I'm in the grocery store. Is this what I'm supposed to buy? Um, or, or Stephanie, I'm struggling with a recipe and I'm in the middle of it. What should I do? Because it's a walkie talkie, they're able to send me a voice memo and they send me a voice memo and I'm able to talk back to them again. So technology really has um, been, been, a, been a blessing for me. <laughs> So you're really hands-on. You're you're in permanent communication. Uh, what's the name of the app again? Uh, Voxer, V-O-X-E-R. Right. And uh, yeah, no, it's 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 fun. I get uh, I get messages all the time, or, or I'll just send something to them inspirational. Like, I'm I love following the moon cycle, as Gaia knows. Um, and just like we had the new moon, so I send a message to them and say, yeah, how, are you journaling how you're feeling against the new moon and and how your nutrition is and um, and, and sending the messages because that makes a difference in their energy as well. So, um, I just love being in contact with them. I'd like to share a little bit of your, um, profiles like here, uh, you are on, on Facebook, uh, you can find her, um, uh, Stephanie Hutchins White and also your Instagram. Uh, you can see it right, right yes. now. Yes, yes, we can. Okay. Uh, you also have a multi-link, uh, on link tree, which is, I can cook. It's a cute name. <laughs> <laughs> I can cook that CO and you can check all her, her activities here. And um, I just, I'm just thinking that whenever you pay attention to your, to your, to your food, to what you ingest, it immediately changes your, your mood. It's like, it's an act of self-love, I think. And the moment you start worrying or, or caring more than worrying, caring about what you eat, it's like everything changes, no? Uh, I, I 
I see it uh, myself. I'm, I'm experiencing that. I'm, I'm ju juicing right, right now. I'm doing uh, juicing in the morning. And to me, it's a ritual. I, I love it right now. The way it makes me feel, it's, it's incredible to appreciate every, you know, every vegetable. And you do like a, a morning ritual. And it, that by itself is, is so much healing, you know? That's right. Well, yeah. I was just going to say, you, you can probably feel it when you have the juice. It's the same with when I have mineral soup. You can feel it yeah, get into your veins. You can feel it. Oh, gosh, that feels good. It's just nourishing me and refreshing me. Exactly. So, Gaia, um, I think we are I wanted, I having a wonderful, uh, we, 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 in Spanish, we call cartel, no? Like <laughs> our, our, our stars of the Congress are, are wonderful. Um, I think we're going to have a great, great content. And um, we look forward to, to having you more often, Stephanie. In, yes, in Stephanie our is a graduate of the New Era of Biomagnetism. So I'm curious, how have you been starting to integrate, you know, maybe the muscle testing into your work? Have you started to kind of delve into using that information into um, your clients' work? Your work with I, I, I have some. Um, I think I'm going to be using it more with new clients as they come on board. Um, I don't want to, I, it's... It's so new to my current clients that they'd be like, whoa, where did that came out of left? <laughs> where did that come from? Um, the first person I'm going to be using it though on is my mom. Um, because I know we've had a lot of conversations about parasites and we've had a lot of conversations about just how that shows up in, in your body. And I think she would really, really benefit from that first. So I'm going to be working with her um, and then incorporating it into some, some of my new clients that are coming on board, people with fibromyalgia. Um, and, and they're young, they're young, they're young people. And I thought that's, that's the best place for me to start with them is with the biomagnetism. It's going to be awesome. Can't yes. wait to hear how that uh, turns out for you. With some guidance from you, of course, Gaia. Oh, I'll, I'll be here to provide any support I can. And that's one of the benefits or, or blessings, I should say, of, of, of being in an association because we, we get to know each other and learn about their, each other's practices and, you know, take, a, take from each one. So they, they're complementary, you know, and, and who knows, maybe you end up like inventing something new with nutrition and, and muscle testing and all of these is, is, I mean, the, the future is exciting when, when you, when you think of all the, the possibilities, you no, know, that can, can come up from, from all of these. So we're glad to have you, uh, Gaia. you want to add? Uh, we're just super, super excited about the upcoming conference. Want to encourage everyone to sign up. This conference this year, it's our second annual um, International Association of Alternative and Ancient Medicine conference that is virtual. And so it's accessible to anyone anywhere in the world. It's going to be held in English and in Spanish with over 20 experts on different areas of alternative and ancient medicine like Stephanie Hutchins White, who's going to be covering holistic nutrition. Um, and she's going to be you know, sharing this for women 40 plus on how to overcome depression through some wonderful nutritional shifts and changes. And like that, we have folks who are gonna talk about family constellations and hypnosis and biomagnetism and quantum healing and uh, microdosing, um, vitamin infusions and so many different other uh, talks. Kika, you're gonna be talking about depression or, um, in Spanish, it's going to be in Spanish, your talk, right? Or are you going to do it in English too? I might just there and, you know, take a chance and do it in English as well. Awesome. Some people enjoy it. Some people dig my accent. So, uh, <laughs> distract. Yeah. yeah. I got this Julio Iglesias accent. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I will be, I'll be talking about being in the present, some meditation and, and, and breathing techniques that will help us come to the present moment and appreciate what is given to us. The gift of life. So it's going to be wonderful. Um, so the conference is the 22nd to the 26th. And Stephanie is going to be talking about flip the 40 plus symptoms and power up naturally. Looking forward to your talk. Very excited, Stephanie. So glad that you've decided to join us. And uh, thank you, Kike, and listeners from Aldea Global and the I Am channel. Um, so, and, and to your listeners, Stephanie, I look forward to having them join us as well. Make sure you follow Stephanie and um, on Instagram, stephaniehw.coaching. So that's going to be it for now. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you and, very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of the day.
And Bye, uh, we'll be coming live any moment with more information. Bye-bye now. Thank you.